Well, hi there. This is Mark, and this is my prostate cancer experience. This is a video series that I've created in YouTube um, for the benefit of those of you that may have been diagnosed with prostate cancer. Um, I've decided to document my prostate cancer removal experience, the surgery, and the days and weeks afterwards, uh, just to give you an honest and uh, real uh, outlook on what to expect. And um, so far, it's been pretty good. Um, this is the sixth day. This particular video that I'm showing you right now, um, I wanna focus on the catheter and help you understand what it is, what it's all about, and what to expect. Um, having a catheter in your body for a week, it's a very unnatural experience. Um, at times it can be uncomfortable, but it's certainly something that you can live with. But I wanna, I wanna take you through my own experience with it uh, and hopefully alleviate some of the fears you may have. When I first learned about the surgery and that there would be a catheter, I was kind of fearful because I'd never had a catheter before. And um, it's just something that I just wasn't prepared for. Um, but it's fine, it's fine. So just a very quick anatomy lesson. Um, in your body, you have your bladder, which is where your urine is stored until it can exit your body. The bladder has next to it the prostate, which kind of adds like a muscle, kind of like a valve. Um, and then you have the urethra, which is the tube that runs from the bladder through the prostate out the end of your penis, and that's when you pee. When they remove the prostate, they kind of cut two ends of the tube and they put them back together. And to help heal, they run a catheter from the inside of your bladder out the end of your penis and into a bag. And it sounds really morbid, but you know, it actually, um, it has a real purpose. They want the urethra that they're gonna reattach, it has to heal. So think of the catheter as kind of like a cast that it sits on the top of and um, they stitch it together, it becomes waterproof and it will last you for the rest of your life. It's very, very, um, very durable. So what happens is after your prostate is removed, you wake up in recovery and there's this tube coming out of the end of your penis and it goes down into a large bag and urine leaves your bladder and goes directly into the bag. Um, it's not something that I wanted to look at right away. And as a matter of fact, I didn't even look at my penis for two days after the surgery because I just, uh, it just to me was something that uh, I didn't want to embrace, you know, the fact that I have this catheter. What you do have outside of your gown, you do see the end of the tube and there is a bag. Um, on, on a positive note, if there is one, um, you don't have to get up to go to the bathroom for your whole first week. So when you have to urinate, it just comes out of your system and goes into the bag. So that's a one plus if there is any. But just remember too, despite some of the discomfort that you may feel, the whole purpose here is that uh, you have, this is a life-saving surgery. This is the removal of cancer. Um, and if you stay optimistic about things and realize that there's gonna be a little bit of discomfort, you'll be able to get through it. There's nothing about this process that you can't live with. The first day, the day of your surgery, you are gonna feel like you have to urinate constantly. Um, and the feeling you have for most of the day is uh, that feeling you have, if you've, if you've been on a long road trip and you've been drinking a lot of liquids and you've gotta to go to the bathroom and you just can't find that rest stop, that sort of intense kind of uh, frustration you get. You'll have that for most of your first day, but you will also have a lot of the anesthesia still within your system. Um, so you'll feel the discomfort. Um, your natural reaction, what you want to do, uh, you want to pull out the catheter and go to the bathroom. That's going to be your reaction, but you're not going to do that, obviously. But um, it is a little uncomfortable um, to walk around with. What happens is the end of your penis is very sensitive, and where the tube comes out, it rubs the end a little bit. They give you a sort of a petroleum jelly um, that has a desensitizer in it, so it's really useful to have that on hand and just rub it around the end of your penis and you'll be able to walk around no problem. Um, you're gonna have some bladder spasms for the first couple of days and uh, nothing you can't live with, but, uh, but what is happening is you are gonna see fluid flushing, flushing through your system. So on the second day, I decided I was gonna lift up, that, lift up that hospital gown and actually have a look at the end of my penis and the catheter, because up until that point, I hadn't looked at it. I, I didn't want to. And uh, I lifted it up and I looked down and it was, I was just uh, mortified, <laughs> I guess is the, is the way to describe it because uh, there's this very large tube coming out of the end of your penis 
and uh, it just it doesn't look natural it, it it just it's a bizarre thing but once again I kept thinking about the fact that this is the road to recovery this is what saving my life was all about so um, you're gonna have that and then um, after a couple days you do get used to it when you get out of the hospital bed um, to walk around and you have to walk around as often as you can while in the hospital in recovery and once you leave the hospital so about every hour hour and a half I'll get up and walk around for about 10 or 15 minutes. Um, you just take your bag with you. It's a, it's a very large bag. It, there's a string and a holder for it. So you walk around with it. As you're walking around the hospital, your roommates down the hallway will be walking as well. So you have a hallway of men in gowns carrying a bag with the urine in it, and it's perfectly okay. It's just, it, it is what it is. It's not something that you're gonna be embarrassed about. When you do leave the hospital, which will be either 24 or 48 hours after the surgery, um, they do give you uh, two bags to take with you. There's a small bag that straps to your leg, and there's a larger one that you'll use at nighttime. The bag that straps to your leg is probably gonna be the best part of your week because once you Velcro it, it, Vel it has two Velcro straps around your leg. The tube from the end of the catheter goes into it, and you're absolutely free. You're able to kind of walk around and as a matter of fact, if I step back a little bit here, you'll see that, um, you know, I have the light catheter in and you wouldn't know if I was walking around the street and I've been, I'm here in Manhattan in recovery, you can walk around. So you wouldn't think that I have this uh, very unnatural device in me, but it certainly is in there and it's fine, it's fine. Um, you may find little pieces of blood in the urine at times and that's absolutely fine but the most important thing is that it's a very durable um, installation if you will um, you don't want to tug on it obviously but there's you can pretty much lift yourself in and out of chairs it's gonna be fine I'm um, sitting down is a little uncomfortable but um, if you recline a little bit keep your feet up you'll be just fine and um, the the type of seating that will be difficult for you is kind of a regular chair like if you I don't have one there. I don't know if you can see in the corner. Okay, right here. You know, a typical sort of table chair. That's going to be very uncomfortable for you to sit in um, versus kind of that kind of a chair. That kind of a lounge chair is very comfortable. You just want to sit back and uh, make yourself comfortable with that. But anyway, um, it's been a real learning experience. And um, uh, my catheter comes out in two days, um, at which point the real recovery starts. Um, the expectation is that once the catheter comes out, if the surgery is done properly, um, you'll be continent. You might leak a little bit, but um, for the most part, the success rate is very, very high. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, I think uh, the, uh, the greatest fear is sort of getting back to normal. Um, if you work with the right surgeon, uh, uh, my surgery was done by Dr. David Samadhi here in New York City uh, using the Da Vinci robotic system. And it's a very, very precise and uh, very elaborate system. But the surgery was a success. And as you can tell by my demeanor, I'm very happy right now. My spirits are great because I really feel that uh, I have a new lease on life. So keep watching this video series. I'm going to keep updating it as I move along. And if I can help you in any way, never hesitate to reach out to me directly and I'll be happy to answer any questions. So this is Mark and this is my prostate cancer experience.